All right, guys, it's Wednesday, and we got a brand new drop list for you. You know, some books were getting hot, and now they're going down, so stay tuned for the drop list. Welcome back, gay news, to another incredible, exciting, fantastic time with comic games. Pah! If you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and the Princess of Royal House, doing that princess wave, looking lovely, just like usual. Bow down and respect. Oh yeah. Alright guys, like I said, today is Wednesday. We got our really cool show for you. We got a new drop list for you. So as always, uh, we're scouring the internet for hot lists from a year ago and finding out which books are a good idea either to not buy or pick up. But they all dropped. That's the, that's the idea. That's the idea. And uh, we had a couple things to open from some friends. One friend that we've had for a while, Jimmy G, sent the princess a uh, birthday gift. Um, we're really excited to open that. And uh, we also got something from Reggie Collects, a newer friend of ours that we've come in contact with lately. He sent us a nice big box. So we're gonna be opening up these two games for you. And uh, yeah, before we do that though, we do have one very large game to open. And it's a weird one. It's a neon burst. It's eight percenter. It says hard drinks, sounds hard. And it's called also the great blowout. I'm gonna have a blowout, guys. A great, great blowout? What's it look like? It looks like uh. this. It's 25 <laughs> fluid ounces of goodness, mm. hopefully. And also, if you didn't already know, somewhere in here is a point two. A point two is the best part. Does it say grapefruit? Is it a grapefruit blowout? No, a grape blowout. Oh, what did it say oh. there? Grapefruit? Oh, no, no grape, grape blowout. Okay. You're messing me up. Whoa. It also gives you an option. If you only drink half of it, it's only 170 calories. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna drink half of it and save it for the next day. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. Okay. <sighs> Pray for me. <gasps> oh, it's actually not that bad. It kind of like it has a weird kind of like starting flavor. And then it's like, okay, grape. And it's grape? Yeah. Oh. Burst. Do you feel the blow out? Yes. Blows. It's coming out. right out. All right, guys. So. We have the drop list for you, and this would be one year ago today in uh, April 25th-ish, end of April yes, yeah, of 2001. So these are the books that were hot then and that have taken a significant drop. So um, we've been kind of doing this list for a while and getting you know a lot of love from you guys on it. So we're having an excellent time doing this list because it's nice to you know learn what books have actually gone down in price that you might be interested in wanting to pick up. So. Let's start it off. We're kicking off here. We got number five, Marvel Comics Presents number 72. And uh, this is came out in 1991. I always thought this was a lot older than that, but this is a Barry Windsor Smith cover. It's the Weapon X story begins here. And uh, this actually continues all the way to uh, book 84. So big thing with this one, uh, just great iconic cover. I think we all know this one, but... This was getting hot a year ago when they kind of announced, like, you know, uh, Disney had taken over all the Fox properties and all this stuff was going on. And big thing with this is uh, Disney Plus was thinking about doing a Weapon X TV show, which was, like, the thing reason this book was getting hot. Because this is, like, the, you know, the direct storyline leading into uh, into Weapon X. So, cool book. And what do you got, Zach? What numbers you got on this guy? So, we got here a range... Oh, no. A then price of $550 to a now price of $346. The range over a year was $230 to $995. Average is five or three. So at one point it was a thousand dollars. Whoa. Now it's at $346. Dang. I have, by raw and look up for the newsstand. That's my recommendation. Yeah, don't forget there's a newsstand version version of this. I was kind of surprised when it did get as hot as it did. I mean, it's a really cool book, iconic cover, but mm -hmm. for a '90s book to get that high to a thousand, I was like, whoa! I can't believe how expensive this. They were going for like over hundred dollars raw for a while. Yeah, yeah, it was insane. Yeah, it was like way. It insane. definitely went back down, but you know, if that if that show comes out like they were planning on doing, you never know. It's gonna go crazy because they want to do that Weapon X story. It's gonna go back. So down. keep an eye out for it. Okay. Here's a personal favorite of mine. We got number four, special Marvel edition number 15. Uh, you got the uh, Jim Starlin, Al Milgram cover from 1973. Obviously, uh, first appearance of Sang Chi, Master of Kung Fu. Um, you also have Sir Dennis Nayland Smith. For some reason, mm -hmm. they did a hyphen name on that. Okay. And Fu Manchu, later renamed Zhang Zhu. Hopefully, I got that right. And first, te first team appearance of the C-Fan. So, uh... 
this book was getting hot uh, about that time. This is when the trailer came out for Shang-Chi back in 2001. Mm -hmm. And the movie didn't actually come out till September. So a lot of people said, Zach's always saying that first trailer when it drops is when a lot of times the books go super hot. And then depending on how good the movie is, is, you know, if the, if the book kind of keeps it up, you know, a little bit, but it tends to go back down after that. So, um, yeah, obviously the, the movie was awesome. The really great casting with, uh, Simu Liu. Hopefully that's the right pronunciation of that, but, uh, yeah. Awesome, awesome movie. And look out for the Mark Jeweler in this one as well. And Zach, you got any numbers? Oh yeah, I got some numbers. Uh, the one I could find easiest was at bat at 8.0. So a year ago then thousand one hundred twenty one dollars and sixty nine cents now six hundred seventy four oh so almost half almost half range six hundred dollars is thirteen hundred dollars average eight thirty six ninety seven i'd say buy the slab uh i guess that would gonna be real but no buy the slab because this this book has a back a black background and if you're buying raw you just you can if you're buying in person, you can actually kind of get a feel for it. But if you're buying online, it's a little harder for you get a kind of good feel for a black cover. Yeah, everything shows up on black cover. I would just buy it raw. Yeah, I, I think the pricing on this is going to be like I mean, buy it, buy it great. Excuse me. Oh, I think I just, uh, the pricing on this is going to be kind of roller coaster too because the movie was good, so it's going to be like it's the next time they announce the next movie and a trailer comes out, it's going to go right back up to where it was again. And then as soon as that movie's over, it's going to go back down and then back up. Eventually, it'll taper off, but it's obviously a cool character in here to stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, next up on the list, we have, this is a, a personal favorite of ours. We've been chatting this book up for a while, but we were also surprised that it was on the drop list. This was crazy. You got War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas, number one from 2019. Fantastic book. Uh, this is crazy. First appearance of Luna Snow, Arrow, Crescent, and Low, Wave. First cover of Swordmaster, first team appearance, including those characters, plus Shang-Chi, Jimmy Woo, Amadeus Cho, and Silk. Uh, just crazy. So, um, this, you know, was getting really popular, I think, when a lot of these characters were coming to the MCU, or also their, well, I think some of them, I don't think any of these characters will actually come to the MCU, but they were getting hot in the regular, and everyone's uh, expecting this to happen sometime. Mm -hmm. uh, this book all of a sudden shot up and went crazy. It was always something that was on our radar, but we didn't think it was... Get it that hot that quick, but it came back down a lot. And what do you got on this one, Dad? Okay, then price three nineteen ninety nine. Now price one hundred thirty dollars and fifty cents. <sighs> it's criminal. The criminal. Range, the range one thirteen fifty to three forty. Average one eighty one eighty seven. Buy the slap. Just, just buy it. Buy ten of them. It goes down again in mm -hmm. six months. Buy another ten. Yeah. It's gonna eventually just be. Three four hundred dollar slab. It's gonna and you're be. gonna be like super happy. Just sell off all the copies you don't want and keep the couple of them that you do. Yeah, you'll thank me later. I didn't. Yeah, I had no idea it was ever gonna go back down to one hundred thirty for a nine eight. I didn't think it was gonna drop below two hundred. Oh, that's, that's insane. Criminal. Yeah, that's insane. It's like get that. We have like what five out to CGC right now. Yeah, yeah at hoping, least hoping. They yeah. Get so hopefully by the time we get it back a year from now, it'll go probably back up again. That's <laughs> yes. that's the, the good thing about CGC and waiting for so long. So many books. All right, guys, we do have a DC book on the list. So number two, we have Superman Convergence. Number two, uh, this is from 2015. First appearance of Jonathan Kent uh, as a baby, who is son of Superman and Lois, who is uh, is actually the current Superman in the running title. You know, he got that big start in Future State. Uh, which was a pretty cool story. And then the big story is when he switched over to the solo title where he's got the, the number ones are going pretty hot right now. But mm -hmm. um, cool character. You know, definitely a lot of stuff going on. You know, it's uh, first bisexual Superman. So a lot of people are getting behind that. And uh, yeah, what numbers you got in this book, Zach? Uh, so it was a year ago, $599.00. And now it's $299.99. It's a $200 drop. Basically, and mm -hmm. the range was one twenty five to eight hundred twenty five dollars. So wow, it's uh, it got really low and it got really high, and the average is three fifty seven eighty three. Don't buy graded. Buy raw if it's cheap. Okay, I would say buy That's raw. Good advice. My opinion: buy raw if it's cheap, and then if it goes hot, you got the raw copy to flip or decide to get graded because it's just worth to get graded. Yeah. 
It's a good, it's a nice cover too. Kind of a cool, I like that Convergence storyline was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's almost like the first uh, uh, actual p cover appearance of him too. In the, in, in, the, the, in the belly. You can the see womb. the belly, yeah. I could see you showing. Yeah. Right, all right, all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and last but not least, this one was a little surprising and not dropped too much, but it did make the list because it was getting really hot a year ago and it's not quite as hot as it was then. But we do have the ever elusive Hulk 181 from 1974. The uh, Herb uh, Trimbe it did the cover on this one. Trimbe? Trimby? Uh, yeah, it's it's hard to pr pronounce his name. It's T R I M B E. I don't know, P -E. P -E. P -E. See, it's even hard to spell. It is, yeah. <laughs> but you have the first appearance of Wolverine, depending on who you talk to. And in this house, what do we agree on? First appearance? First appearance. First appearance. Uh, so, um, obviously, this was, hotly like said, Disney Plus taking over all the X, all the Fox properties, X-Men along with that. But, uh, you know, just kind of one of those books that, like, is always going to be crazy expensive. But every once in a while, it gets a little bit more crazy expensive than it did before that and drops a little bit here and there so keep an eye out for when it drops but uh also look out for the mark jeweler what do you got on this one zach so i got two different grades on here because it was it's really weird to buy this book too I many guess. face similes it's very <laughs> yeah yeah it's very weird to buy this book so you got a 9.0 think about this then price twelve thousand dollars now price yeah yeah twelve thousand dollars now price eleven thousand dollars six hundred Range ten thousand dollars to fourteen thousand one hundred twenty-five, average eleven thousand eight seven hundred and seventy dollars and thirty-four cents. The nine point two has a range of nineteen thousand dollars eight hundred to the now price of the then price was nineteen thousand. The then the the now price is thirteen thousand seven fifty. I'm jumbling on my words. The great blowout's getting to me. The great blowout. The range is twelve thousand dollars to nineteen thousand dollars eight hundred. Average is fourteen thousand four hundred fifty one dollars and ninety four cents. I would say buy raw, but just think about that. The range, the the, the then and now price. It was nineteen thousand dollars for a nine point two a year ago, and then it was twelve thousand mm -hmm. dollars a year ago in a nine oh. It's seven thousand dollar difference. Yeah, for a grade, and then they close up a now. The now time, the 2022 price, it's only 2000 2100 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I mean... I think it's got to be that trickle-down effect. Yeah, know. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I if you had $13,000, buy the 9.2. But, but just buy raw. Just do the raw. Yeah, this is one of uh, Zach's, like, last big grails to get on his list, too. Yeah. Yeah. His last Bronze Age uh, blue chip key he doesn't have. Yeah. It's, huh? It hurts. It hurts real bad. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So that wraps up the drop list for... This week, I hope you guys enjoyed that. So we got some stuff to open for you. So here we go. We got our good friend Jimmy G. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Jimmy G, we'll link his YouTube channel down below. A uh, great guy. Check out his show. Um, just a, a friend we had over like the past year that um, we really enjoy all his comments, and he always leaves one on every show. Just a great guy, and he has an excellent show himself. So uh, he sent uh, Princess a birthday present. So yeah, open this stuff up. Some goodies for the princess. Oh, here we go. Happy birthday, princess, from Jimmy G, the comic book guy. Bowing and waving. Both tabs. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Oh, packaged really well. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So we got Grim Fairy Tales Land of Oz, number 30. This is dope, dude. Oh, I like that. Nice. Very nice. See if those Grim Fairy... I've actually heard the Grim Fairy Tale story is really good, too. Hmm. Some information on the back? Oh, he does, yeah. It's Michael, a variant. Michael Dooney variant. Nice. Cover C. Nice. So, mm. okay. Whoa, there is some good stuff in here. All right, so we got Black Cat number eight. This is from the current... Right, this is the 80-year uh, Captain America anniversary cover. I actually kind of like that they did some of those, where they... They're doing all the anniversaries this year for some of the characters, and then they like redo them on the front, like right. wearing the other character's outfit. Isn't this kind of nice? Mm -hmm. it's... It depends on if it's done right. Some of them looked weird, but some of them look good. Ooh, this is cool. Uh, we we know this guy. So this is uh, White Widow number two, Jamie Tyndall cover, foil. Oh, he's got... Yeah, he put all the information on the back. Awesome, mm -hmm. Jimmy G. Yeah, Thank you know, you. He knows what's up. I like that one. Princess hmm. is a huge fan of Jamie Tyndall, in case you guys didn't know. 
Yeah, he, he's a solid artist. Mm -hmm. Cool to talk to, too. And this one's really cool. I can already tell. This is Inferno Number no. 1, the variant cover. And uh, this is the Stan, uh, Stanley Art Germ variant there. I heard uh, Inferno's a pretty good story, like wrapped up some good stuff with X-Men. I mean, I've never read it. Very, very cool. Maybe I will. Awesome birthday present. Thank you, Jimmy G. Uh, Princess loves all the stuff. I don't think she had any of those yet. It's nice getting uh, but stuff she doesn't have as well. So everybody check out Jimmy G. Awesome community member. Uh, sub up to his YouTube show so you get all his info. Links down below. Yeah. All right. Last thing, uh, we've got a package here from our good friend Reggie Collects. Kind of a newer friend of ours uh, in the community, but uh, obviously if you guys get a chance, check out his show. He has a lot of great information on there uh, going on. And uh, he recently put out the uh, a book, Reggie, Reggie Collects Guide to Comic Book Collecting. And uh, he sent us a little care package, so see what we got in here. Whoa. Whoa, this is cool. Oh, oh, it's a box. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a comic a, box. It's a comic box. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty dope. Oh, dude. He's got like his own custom comic boxes. What? Dude, okay. These are, oh, these artwork is super cool. Okay. Sweet. Very nice. You can never have too many comic boxes. So it looks like he sent one for each of us. We got three comic boxes here. Oh. So if you guys don't know, if you ever go to like a con or even just to like oh, they are a, uh, a swap meet or anything like that, you should always take one of these with you. So that way, like if you find good books that you want to take, you're not just like having them sit in a bag. You got like a nice box to keep it in. Oh, look at the artwork on that. Like as a fold. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh. Zach, we need to get custom boxes. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. These are, these are awesome, man. Super useful. Really, really cool. I said you, every comic book collector should have one of these. Anytime you go hunting or anything, you need a good place to keep your stuff. You can't carry around a short box. And even if you do, it's not full, so they're all going to fall over and bend. This is this is like the perfect amount. Yes. Yes. It's exactly the right. I swear by it. All right, guys. So uh, thank you, Reggie. Awesome stuff, man. I really appreciate this stuff. So everyone check him out. I'm sure you guys already are. But uh, great guy. Great member of the community. So yeah that's going to wrap up the show for today guys as usual if you like the show love the show hit that subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification bell so you always know when new things are going down leave us a comment down below let us know what you guys think about this week's drop list we really love hearing how you guys feel about which books went down a lot of people are telling us which books they bought recently that dropped down or if they should be picking up some of these ones uh and you know zach will always give you solid advice on whether or not you should get these try. i'm gonna very well try anything else Zach? oh you gotta share how to do that is you got to you gotta live a life of discipline and also deal out punishment. But you also have to do it at a certain time. 2099 time. That's how you become punished at 2099. I'm just pulling I'm just pulling out of the ether. No, no, I can't. Brain's not fire enough. Yeah, Punisher 2099. Check it out. You know, eventually, since like his his chest symbol changed. You know in 2099 he's using the old symbol. So eventually it's going to change back to the original symbol. No, he didn't. Yeah, that. when we hit 2099, if we're all he's still back. alive, it's going to go back to that symbol. And Otherwise the age. continuity won't make any sense. He never age. Yeah, what the heck? never age. I don't know if that's still Frank Castle. It's got to be somebody else. Probably. Yeah, you know, like uh, Billy Castle. Billy Castle. Okay. Billy Castle. You go with that. All right, guys. Until we see you next time, stay safe and remember. Get those games. Get them. Um...